Hi, this is Thunder Yi from borderwork.com and we're taking a first look at Windows 8 release preview. So you can see here on the screen there are a couple of things that uh, they've added to Windows 8 release preview, a couple of new apps. But of course the main feature that we all have heard about is the inclusion of Flash into um, Metro, the Metro um, Internet Explorer browser. So let's jump right in. Uh, it's quite easy. Let's just go to uh, YouTube. So you have a YouTube video here, which we showed you earlier. So you can see off the bat, it's already playing the movie itself um, of uh, an advertisement of YouTube. So we're going to skip an ad, and then we'll just mute this so we can actually go through it. Again, the browser takes the whole length of the of the screen. So the whole screen in here is the browser. You can see it's playing the video. Uh, there's no issues whatsoever. Um, other things with the browser, of course, you do have, when you right-click on your mouse, you do have the ability to um, go into different tabs. You have the private browsing. You also have your options below here, which actually just takes moves you to the desktop browser you can pin, pin things to the desktop and of course if you're going to your settings here then you do have your internet options where uh, not much again um, I wish there was more in-depth there was an in-depth uh, look into the browser but since you can push things to the other browser um, you know it's it, that's where it, it's limited to uh, a couple of things here also so if we do a Google search so let's look for you know an anime wallpaper if you will so let's go to Google and you know, people always talk about you know different wallpapers. I have, and um, I usually just search off you know Google. So take this one for instance, full size image. There is no way to necessarily save. Oh, there is a way to save now. So you can save to your public library. Before you just had to copy, but now you can save. So it's pretty cool. I can just save this to my public library, and it's done. And I have that photo saved. So that's pretty cool. So let's look at a couple of the app, uh, um, new apps. Uh, one of the other apps is the uh, Bing News, which is uh, gives you daily news from Bing. And you can see here, uh, it's got that nice metro look. You can actually scroll through. You have different segments from US news, technology, business news, entertainment, politics, so on and so forth, sports and health. And um, you can right click. And when you right click, it brings up an option to check out your news. And in my news, you can add sections. So I have offbeat, and I just have Microsoft. I can add a section, and to add a section, I just have to type in whatever I want. So if I go technology, for instance, uh, like go technology news, it will add that in there. And uh, this is just basically my news and what I'm interested in. If you right-click again, you can look at trending news, and you can see what's trending right now. John Edwards is, as well as, as, well as uh, Sandcastles, Amelia Earhart and so on and so forth so you can look at different trending news and also you can look at sources so it shows you where uh, it shows you where they get the news from and all the different news sources so it's a pretty cool app I like uh, you know just the simple fresh look of the application itself and very easy to use very, very simple another cool app again news oriented is actually uh, sports sports app is very very cool if you're a big sports fan um, I think you really enjoy this app so you have top stories here uh, and you also have your news if I actually right click I can actually refresh or you can see I have all the different sports you can think of best of the web all sports La Liga Premier League um, the reason why those are there is because I have my teams favorite teams there uh, NBA so on and so forth I can hit refresh this will refresh my news it says you know it's, the Kings are up 2-1. I have some NBA news um, up there scheduled because that's uh, upcoming right there. MLB and my favorite teams. And I can go into my favorite team. So I'm a big Patriots fan. Sorry, guys. And I can go in. But it doesn't just give me news. It shows me a lot about my team. So you see it shows Tom Brady there. I have Patriots news. shows me almost everything I need to know about the Patriots that's happening. Uh, the 2012-2013 the, uh, uh, season schedule. Uh, team leaders, uh, team stats, roster, so on and so forth. So, you know, not just for the Patriots, I can do it for any team I want to. I'm using my for my favorite teams. So I'm going to Real Madrid, and same thing there. So you have that cool um, personalized interface with it, uh, with this application. And again, I can jump in and out by just right clicking. I, I can remove. I can pin to to the uh, start menu. So I'm going to pin Real. Um, 
to the start menu and you know it's pretty cool in general very cool app uh, and you can see here Real Madrid's right there it shows you know it, it's also lifestyle and goes in and out on you know constantly uh, another app that is new is the travel app travel app um, it, it's kind of a mixture of like a travel guide and also uh, online resource for you to uh, to book your vacations so it has featured destinations where it shows you you know places uh, that are interesting around the world you can search places you can go more and it's got panoramas uh, photos of just different places in the world articles you can uh, look at places and if you right click you can search for destinations and uh, also you can search for flights book your hotel so things like that it can help you do different things so I can go you know I say from Boston you know to Vegas and I just want to fly today search for flights and it will give me options you know for flights and you know tickets and it's powered by kayak so even though it's a kayak app it's actually still powered by kayak anyway and that should bring you some options and I can see you know all the different flight options there and um, you know prices uh, see details below and I can book my tickets from here so it's a pretty cool app and it's very nice that our Microsoft has added that in there so you know those are a couple of the newer apps on there a couple of things uh, they've added improvements to um, you do have of course your um, people help as you can see there it shows you people similar to what you have on Windows Phone um, kind of cycles through your different friends if I jump in there it shows me what's new uh, and this is just what people have said in all my channels you see it's connected to my Facebook my Twitter my Gmail account as well as my Hotmail account um, and I can also see what I've posted here more recently uh, with me notification and photos you can see the photos there and it also shows people you see Paris V over there so it's pretty cool um, uh, again a little bit more it's a, it's a more in-depth app the finance app also has got more uh, it's been flushed out a little bit more not just a stock ticket if you will so you can see um, shows you you know the biggest news today the indices and what they're doing at this present time between the Dow S&P you've got some news you've got some stock that you're looking at you know particularly the market overall uh, across the markets, rates, fund picks, and you can also add a watch list, news, currencies, world market, and so on and so forth. So it's it's more in depth of an application to use, and you can see a lot of metro apps are beginning to be uh, well fleshed out, if you will, and, and come into their own. Now you see Roey there, the couple of Twitter apps, and they have uh, Twit Pro. I've uh, been using Roy and you can see Roy is very it's simplistic. It's not really um, metro style in, in that sense, but with the application, you know, I do have my main section here um, so the app actually just uh, fizzed out so if I click on row again so the application here you have your main center is whenever you click on a tweet it actually shows up in the center uh, you have a photos on the right so or photos from people uh, that you follow on Twitter and of course you either have you can post a tweet you can look at your mentions direct messages and so on and so forth so um, simple app uh, easy to use you know I can retweet that if I want to and you see it's already successfully being retweeted out there so that's another cool app to take a look at what else have we seen the store is still the same in the general look um, of course there are a few more applications and more sections and you can see uh, the different sections of the app store still works the same way so there's really not much there other than you know they're getting more and more applications into the uh, into the marketplace itself uh, a couple of apps that I like and I use uh, are you know like the cocktail flow which you know is a drink making app which is a very very popular app on uh, Windows Phone and you, you see again it's metro style it shows you a way to make drinks so if I go to rum drinks you know I can select it's very visual and you know what you're actually doing so if I'm trying to make a Cuba uh, Cuba Libre I can actually see the in ingredients preparation and look at similar cocktails and uh, it's pretty cool I and mean, you think about this when you Windows 8 when you have a Windows 8 laptop or a tablet um, this is just a very intuitive and, and simple app so a lot of the apps again really fleshed out in there um, and uh, work very well the only one thing I don't like though I, I will mention I hope Microsoft resolves is things like the music app and the video app or the music app uh, the music app doesn't have a um, uh, uh, play controls on the app tile itself so for instance if I go in here and I pick a song and I go linking back 
park and burn it down. Let's just click on that. What's cool about it is that, you know, once I click on it, I can either buy the album, preview, play the Xbox, and also use my Zoom Pass. So that's still there, even though, you know, the Zoom brand is kind of going away. I hit play to preview. So you can hear that. I can't stop it when I go out. There's no way for me to do that. So, see, as I went back into the uh, main screen, I couldn't stop the song because there are no play controls on the live tile. So that's something that Microsoft, I think, should fix. The other thing also is that I can't take a screenshot here. Um, there's no way for me to actually physically take a screenshot, uh, even if unless I go here and I see if I can do it with a snippet tool and I click on that but that takes me back to all the windows um, regular windows side so I can't take a screenshot of uh, what I'm looking at here I hope Microsoft can add a, a function to actually allow me to take a screenshot but uh, a lot of the applications work well you can pin things so you know this is a uh, uh, tune in radio and I have a favorite radio station that I have pinned down there um, so on and so forth now when you go over to um, the uh, regular Windows side, a couple of things are a little different. You can see the logo of Windows is also different. It's taking that new logo that they, they've talked about there. Um, also, when you open up, um, you know, when you open up, say, your uh, file manager, you can see that the logos are different. Uh, blue, still the same, but it's just, you know, slightly different lo um, icons and uh, notations for you there. But overall, it's a very simple and smooth experience. Um, I like what I see. I hope the Microsoft continues to make improvements on there. One thing I'd like to see is the ability to uh, have play controls on your applications. Um, even Slacker Radio doesn't do that too on the live tile so that I can actually just stop in and play you know my music and don't I don't have to jump into the application uh, in there um, another thing I would like to see also is the ability to take snapshots um, in the metro metro UI mode uh, another thing I wanted to quickly mention is also the uh, photos photo gallery allows you to look at photos across um, all your different facets from computers and your network to Facebook uh, and uh, as well as Flickr and um, yeah, I believe your SkyDrive. So this is my picture library. That's a photo I saved. It's my SkyDrive here. Uh, Facebook photos and these are two computers. I haven't actually had them shared in Flickr. I have nothing on Flickr, but you can see here it says you know to view files. Just go and set it up, and you can view files from that computer. So uh, uh, Windows 8 brings more connectivity to all your different applications, and of course your calendar, which basically just populates with almost everything from your Facebook and your other two calendars, your other calendars from your email account. So, in general, uh, great app, you know, great uh, improvements I've seen. Uh, it also runs more stable. All my applications run well. Uh, very few issues. Um, actually, almost no issues uh, whatsoever um, with Windows uh, Windows 8 release preview. Uh, when the code comes to the email client, so going to the email client, you can see just a bunch of border work emails left and right. Um, but um, the options for the email is not necessarily much. Doesn't it's not as in depth as I would have liked um, to get into. You can sync, move, pin, and that's pretty much it. Uh, even if you go to a settings here and you go to your options, it's just account and permission. So not much, and I hope they actually delve in more uh, to give you more options in here, and hopefully that you know is fleshed out more. But for now, I like what I see. I can't complain, and I think uh, Microsoft's done a good job. Just a few things I need to add to continue improving. Oh, one more thing: SkyDrive here and SkyDrive. Uh, they basically you have two SkyDrive if you will. It comes to the SkyDrive app on the Metro side and you can download the, the sorry the SkyDrive client uh, here so you can see that here and this is SkyDrive here this is my SkyDrive app here and they kinda work uh, independently of each other which can be annoying so hopefully Microsoft fixed all that so if you guys have any questions or any comments let us know don't forget to subscribe to all our pages on Twitter, Facebook and YouTube it's uh, Border Work with uh, couple of O's and also board fam and uh, thank you very much and always enjoy entertainment